นะครับเป็นเป็นสมดุลแต่เดี๋ยวได้ไปนะครับเป็นสมดุลแต่เดี๋ยวได้ไปนะครับเป็นสมดุลแต่เดี๋ยวได้ไปนะครับเป็นสมดุลแต่เดี๋ยวได้ไปนะครับเป็นสมดุลแต่เดี๋ยวได้ไปนะครับเป็นสมดุลแต่เดี๋ยวได้เล็กนี้ store the records so always when you want to store the SQL records into the map that will be in this format so the format will be map of id comma then a subject first two ID comma a subject How to store the records? Let's say map of ID comma student. I want to proceed. Student. What you can do is st ID ID was a student. Then we give name like this. Means student ID and its recorder. Of ID comma student. We know how to write the SQL query. This map is very 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 important if you don't know them you cannot write a single line of code okay usually first you need to do list of student and combining the previous code and this one stds equals to new map of id comma student let's proceed right then you have already seen to write the SQL query inside the list. Okay, so then this how to write the for loop also. You have already seen, right? Student. Okay. So now let me explain one more type of for loop, which is called enhanced for loop. Okay. So enhanced for loop. Uh, we don't call that in the Apex, but in uh, Java, we use to call it as enhanced for loop. So, syntax of the enhanced for loop is for data type variable column, then list, list object, then you can use statements. Means let's say you have student records in the list, then list name is STDS, right? For what type of records? What is data type we are using inside the list is student, right? Student type we are using student double underscore C. You can give the name like ST, then whatever the name you want, then STDS. Okay, statements. You can use this kind of for. Let me write this for you. So student st then stds. This is the enhanced for loop. Means this is the advanced for loop we will be using inside the uh, lot of Apex classes. So first one is a basic one which will be used inside the triggers survey, and this will be used. Also, this also will be used whenever we don't need to iterate the list of records in the list by using the index. Just we need to iterate all the records, then we can use this type of for loop. Means what type of data type 
if you have been that will be the first one that is the syntax i have given then variable name which may be mean ist or, or whatever it is so stds means what it does is it gets the first record into the st on the first iteration it will be iterated next it gets the second one third one fourth one fifth one until the last element it will be keep on executing you don't need to check the size here now here so usually if you want to add a value into the map you would have your method called id says student dot put right you have a put method to get to store your value you have maybe a put value put is the method That's why I'm asking you guys to learn about methods. Okay, be careful. Now, so here, ID is the key, record is the value. Okay, students dot put off is the ID, student ID we are giving, right? ST dot ID. We are querying in ID field as well. If you don't query the field, then it will throw the error. Student ID. Then what is the record? Record we are doing so data type directly we are giving the student record. We can give ST as the student. This is the way of storing the records into the this uh, map. Okay, so now this map is having inside. Uh, so this all records are all records are inside the. So you can get using this map you can get all the keys all the records as well right so this is how you have to store all the records into the map instead of writing all these four lines of code you write like this this list only right you are pausing query these records get this query into this also, also does the same whatever this lines of code we are doing say it retrieves, it retrieves the number of records from the student and then it stores into id versus student map in the form of id and record you don't need this one now let's say if I ask you to write the code to store the name and student, here we are using ID and student, right? But now I need the name and student. So name versus student ID. Okay. So note down this one and write that code. Two minutes of time for you guys. Okay. Kruti, you can uh, stop the recording. This is enough for today.